Hey everyone, it's Emily and welcome to my channel. Today I am doing my fifth update to my Not So Berry Challenge family. I think it's the fifth one. Um, but yeah, I'm doing an update for my Not So Berry Challenge family and this is more of an update on the gray generation because Heather here is our gray sim and she's getting married today and I wanted to do like a wedding update video instead of just a normal update like some of my other updates I've just kind of gone through like what I've done since the last time I updated it like as far as the rules of the challenge wise and I'll go through that at some point um probably while they're all like eating or something and not really doing anything but I also wanted to document their wedding um but yeah Heather is the sim for this generation she has three brothers I'll just pull up the family tree really fast so we can look at this but yeah so we have Heather and and her oldest brother is Bunny, his twin sister is Ashley, or twin twin sister, his twin brother is Ashley, um, and then her younger brother is Lloyd, and Lloyd means gray apparently, so that's why I named him Lloyd. He's in the scientist career because part of the her generation is saying how like her whole family is like in the lab and more into like sciencey stuff, so I thought that it would kind of be an homage to the first generation to have him in the science career. And then her other two brothers had moved out, and they both have kids. Um, Bunny has, I named him Bunny like a dust bunny. I think I explained that in the last part, but just to get you up to speed if you haven't seen that. Um, he has two daughters, Adeline, who is at the wedding, and Marcella, who's a toddler. And the game named Adeline something else, but I changed it to Adeline because I didn't like the other name. And then Marcella is the name that the game generated for her, so I just left that as it was. Um, so yeah, and then Ashley has one daughter named Sandy, and I know for a fact that I had um, Heather and her mom and dad and Lloyd go visit um, each of her brother's houses to meet their kids, so I knew she knew all of them, but for some reason she doesn't know Sandy enough to invite her to the wedding, so Sandy's not here. Um, I might invite her though later for pictures after I'm done with this whole little video situation, but yeah, so I wanted to take family pictures and I want her to get a picture with her cousin who is pretty much the same age as her. They were born at like the same time. Um, her and Adeline are like the exact same age because um, I think they both of their moms got pregnant on the same day so yeah and then Heather over here is marrying Carla and um, since all of my couples so far have been with males I thought it would be fun to mix it up just for my own personal gameplay and have her marry a female and I also went in the gender setting since that's a thing that you can like do and I changed it so that they can have like biological children and Heather will be the one that gets pregnant so that's fun um, because I wanted them still to both look like them I didn't want to adopt and I also have this whole like look going on with all of these sims so I wanted to keep their gender genetics um continuing through the challenge instead of having i think they're going to adopt one kid that's my plan for them right now but i still wanted them to have biological kids too so that's that and Carla's last name is Morado, which means purple in spanish i'm pretty sure and so all of the kids for my plum generation or purple generation will have that last name um that's the same thing that i did with their generation uh daisy is the yellow sim and her husband's last name was sterling so all of the gray generation sims have the last name of sterling uh but yeah and i changed all of the the kids that they all had their mom's last name because I didn't change those just to keep track of them more easily um, and differentiate them from like the siblings. But yeah, I named, I gave their kids all the last name of Sterling because they're not really in the challenge. They're just like fun kiddos to play with. So yeah. And I think I'm going to start the wedding now and then I can tell you what I've done. I finished the yellow generation, so I won't go into all the details with that, but I have taking care of that and we're just going to thank Adeline for coming because we know her the least well and I want them to have more of a relationship. Uh, Bunny's here over there and oh there's Marcella. Let's um let's tell her a funny story and I want Carla needs to meet everyone because I don't think that she knows all of these people so I want her to just go around and introduce herself to all of Heather's family. She knows Daisy, I'm pretty sure. Actually, no, I don't think she does because she just moved in with their family like before the wedding so I could control her <laughs> and keep track of her. 
Um, but yeah, she literally knows no one. So she's just going to introduce herself to everyone. And then I'll have um, Heather go around. I'm so used to saying Daisy, but I'll have Heather go around and also um, just talk to the guests too. But this is going pretty well so far. <laughs> um, I actually kind of have a plan for this wedding, especially because I want her. She's uh, family oriented and neat because the gray sim has to marry a neat sim. So that's also why I created her for this instead of just marrying some random townie person. And I'm just realizing now that I gave her, I made her a while ago, like before Heather was even a young adult. And, um... And I gave her the same hair that my Black Widow Sim has. And I realized that other people that I've seen do Black Widow Let's Plays also use this hair. But when I was creating my Sim, I wasn't even thinking about that. Um, I just downloaded, this is a custom content hair. So um, it looks really nice. So I guess that's why a lot of people are using it. And I decided to use it twice without even knowing. I don't know what I'm doing with the camera. Sorry about that. Um, but yeah, and Carla, like since she just moved into our household and I have aging off for unplayed households, she is like a brand new young adult. And Heather is um, uh, like 10 days in, I guess, but she's going to be having kids. So that will kind of like delay her aging. And she's also almost done with the bodybuilder aspiration. So she has this one thing left to do, but I'm not in a rush to do that or anything because she's obviously going to get to level 10 of the um, fitness skill with her career being uh, the, now she's a profession, in like the professional athlete track. So she just got to level five of the athletic career. And through this career, she's obviously having to level up her fitness skill and work out and stuff. So I'm not really concerned about her getting to level 10. Um, so yeah. And I guess guests need to have drinks. We should have a bartender. So that's good. Um, let's have Carla. Okay. She's met Lloyd and I think we can just have them do a little kiss so that we can check off some of these things. Cause the only thing we've done is thank you guests for coming. Why can we not do this? Um, and she's met Marcella. That's cute. <laughs> Um, Elena looks really mad. <laughs> Elena is Bunny's wife. And I keep track of that because I don't even know how I keep track of that. I think because Bunny is more like into sciencey stuff and he was more of like the nerdy brother, but he still got along the best with Heather. Like they're actually friends. If you look at her friends, Oh, okay. This is the wrong sim. <laughs> but if you look at her friends, she has the gym trainer, um, Carla, um, Jamie, who is like her high school like best friend and like not even girlfriend, but like kind of like a failed relationship. I count her as one of her three failed relationships, even though they didn't actually date. And then Bunny, those are her friends. Um, and since I have aging turned off, um, her high school friend is like never going to age into a young adult. So I might fix that and age her up and have them just be friends or something. Um, and I guess we can, we can just get married now. <laughs> Don't see why not. I really, really love this venue. I also hired, um, a musician and a mixologist for this, which I don't usually do. So that's really fun. <laughs> And I'm really excited about this wedding because they're the perfect excuse to take pictures. And I really love both of their outfits. They're not super traditional, but I wanted both of them to wear white, especially since Heather's the gray sim. Her other formal wear was already pretty white. So yeah, I just picked like a slightly different one for her. And I think I'm going to give her a new tattoo at some point too. But she has this arm sleeve, which I don't know if she had the last time I did an update. I'm pretty sure that she was, um, that she was a, um, what's it called? I need all of them to attend the wedding, please. Are you attending the wedding? Cool. Um, but I, what was I saying? I don't know. Um, I'm pretty sure she was a teen the last time I updated. That's what I was saying. And I'm just going to, take oh my gosh that's beautiful wow okay just watch the wedding from here that's such nice lighting wow oh my gosh i don't know where i'm going this wedding music is clashing with the pianist's music 
which is kind of funny, but that's okay. Wow. I love weddings. She's, her arms are very defined. Um, that's something about this like athletic skill, and even with her mom being an astronaut and having to max the fitness skill, it's like they just get so ripped, and I'm not used to that because usually my sims never work out. <laughs> And it's just funny to see. Oh, cute. Usually her hair is just kind of off to the side. Um, oh no, where'd they go? They're there. Aw. Yay. I'm just gonna get a quick pic of everyone at the wedding. Um, I don't know why I even take screenshots. I literally do nothing with them. Um, I've taken some screenshots since last time, so maybe I'll insert those so you can get caught up on what's going on. So here they go. Um, but yeah, so I've been taking more screenshots just to like include in these little update videos to kind of fill in the gaps. But yeah, that's kind of my thought process with that. And I think that we're going to have them cut the cake now because she's pretty hungry. And I'm, I gave it to Carla because she didn't have anything in her inventory, so it's easier for her to have it. And she is just going to cut the cake. And if you could not check the toddler, that would be good. Because <laughs> I need you to be around for this cake cutting. Aw, so cute. I, they sing the same song that they sing at birthdays at weddings. It's still nice though, but I don't know. My game is like broken. That's why I turned, or like my my random townies. Oh, cute. Um, but my random townies that have generated have the weirdest names. They all wear the weirdest things, and it's very frustrating. And they um. Because I turned aging off for unplayed households so that when I add new families to my game, they stick around. So if I add them and then I end up not using them, then they still exist in my game. So that's nice. But for now, it's... I don't know. <laughs> um, and oh, we need one more person to have a drink. Can you, can you go get a slice of cake, please? Okay, cool. She's getting a slice of cake. Do you have a drink? Oh, who is, she, who, is he going to... No, you're not tipping them $10. I mean, we have plenty of money, so I guess you could. But I don't think that we're going to do that. <laughs> also, I made um, Carla and Heather a house. And I don't know why I'm trying to get him water. He can go order an actual drink. Um, order drink. Oh, he could have just ordered his favorite drink. Um, he's going to have a sweet and spicy. Um, but yeah, so I built them a house and it's really small. And I think that with this generation before I've been like saving my money and like moving the whole family into a new house. But I think that once Daisy passes away, which should be in like two days, like one or two days in my game, well, they're just having some cake together. Um, how about you come tell this toddler a funny story? Uh, but yeah, so... They, I've been like moving the whole family into a new house and they've been like amassing so much money from pretty everyone in the family getting to the top of their career. So that's really nice. Well, not everyone in the family, but you know what I mean? Like every one person in each generation is like getting to the top of their career. So they make a lot of money and now they have a lot of money and they have like a huge house. And I downsized their house because I stopped playing this while I was on vacation for like an entire month. And when I came back, their house was just way too big. There were way too many Sims in it. Um, there were six at the time. So it was just very difficult for me um, to keep track of all of them in their giant house. So I moved them into a smaller one. And now they have a lot of money left over. But I think what basically what we're going to do is say that this amount of money is how much that um, that Daisy is like leaving for Heather and Carla to buy their new house because their new house is like just a little bit less than this. And then they can move in there and start their life and whatnot. And I'm going to get a photo studio real quick while I'm explaining this so it doesn't get um, to be where the wedding's over and I haven't taken pictures with anyone and I didn't want to move that tree. Um, but yeah, so they're going to move into their own house. I'm going to have Lloyd stay in the house that they currently live in and like start his life there. And I think I'm going to basically move like the three of them, like Carla, Heather, and Lloyd into their new house and then move Lloyd back into the old house because I do want to take some of their, um, 
their items like family pictures and that type of thing with us because I'm big on the pictures and I don't want to lose them. Um, so yeah, that's my plan right now. I don't want this to be in the middle of the road. Okay. The road, whatever. Okay. So let me just go over what Heather has done so far as far as the challenge goes. And I'm going to open up the rules really quick. Just look at her face while I'm doing this, but hold on while I pull the rules. Okay, so the gray sim has to master singing, parenting, and athletic skills. She, as of right now, has um, level five of singing. I'm trying to get her to be pretty good at cooking too, but I think that once she moves in with Carla, Carla will do more of the cooking. Um, I'm going to cheat some of her skills up so that she has skills, because right now she doesn't have any, because like I said, I created her. Um, but for realism, I'm going to give her some skills, and one of them is going to be cooking. I think I'm going to make her level five cooking too. But yeah, so she has a fitness level eight and a singing level five, and then we have parenting level one right now. Um, so she does have some parenting skill, but obviously that's super easy to build once you actually have kids to parent. It's really not that hard to build parenting skill, especially with babies and toddlers. Um, just pretty much every time you interact with them, you gain parenting skill. So I'm not worried about that at all. And she is, um, like I said, at level five of the athletic career in the professional athlete category. And she is almost done with the bodybuilder aspiration. She just has to get this one last thing and then she's done. And she will also live longer just from this trait. I had another sim that got this trait once and they lived for like an extra 10 days. So that is pretty significant in sim time. And also why I wanted Carla to be younger than her technically, even though like they're going to basically end up being the same age. So, yeah, there's that. And she had three failed relationships before finding her spouse. Hold on a second. So she had um, Jason, who was like her high school boyfriend. And then she was like, this is like her BFF in high school, Jamie, who she um, kind of started a relationship with, but then that's what caused her and Jason to break up. And then things just got kind of like weird between them and they kind of stopped talking and then she aged up so then she like couldn't really talk to her anymore and she was just like moving on with her life type of thing and then she met Jay and they um they dated for a while actually I think like a whole week almost in like sim days <laughs> but yeah he we found out that he was a snob and we just aren't really about that so and also um Heather has the, um, she's compassionate and she has emotional control from her, her blah, words, um, from her, what's it called, uh, character values, but she also has bad manners. So she kind of like said a few things to Jay that rubbed him the wrong way. And with him being a snob, he just wasn't very understanding of her bad manners. So they broke up and then she met Carla and they became really good friends and then started dating. So yay for them. <laughs> and now I think that I'm going to end this part here because the only other things for this generation are to be good friends with all of your children and have family movie night with your spouse and children every Sunday, which we will do once we have kiddos and move in to our new house with Carla. I guess they can start having family movie nights with them every Sunday anyway, but I'm assuming by the next Sunday in the game, they will have um, a baby at least. So we'll see. But yeah, so I think I'm going to take some pictures now and then tomorrow I'm going to send them on a nice little camping trip honeymoon to Granite Falls and then um, whenever Daisy leaves us, I will move them into their new house. So that's all I've got for this update of this challenge. Um, let me know if you like these videos and staying up to date with the challenge. If you're doing the challenge, also let me know how far you've gotten in it. What generation are you on? Um, which one's your favorite so far? I still think that the mint one was my favorite because I've never really done the mischief skill or the scientist career and the active careers are so much fun. So I'm really, really looking forward to the plum generation when you get to do the doctor career. 
and I'm like super excited for that. Um, but the athlete career has been really fun because I've never done that before. Um, at least never done it with the sim that I cared about the most. I've had like, um, like the spouse of the sim that I cared about the most doing it, but I was didn't really like care about advancing them in their career. So this has been really fun for me. And um, yeah, make sure to subscribe to stay updated on this Let's Play. And I have, or not even Let's Play, this little like whatever, not so very challenge update situation thing I have going. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you're having a great day. Bye.